How's it going, everyone? Akibana Zero here, and I'm back with some more Ruby. We're gonna check out Chapter 10 of Volume 5, titled True Colors, which it feels a little bit like, uh, <laughs> like very appropriate, considering that we're about to witness a showdown between Ilya and Blake, with Ilya being a chameleon that just changes her color. So let's see what exactly her true colors look like. Now, I'm definitely sure the episode is not gonna start with the fight, but that's okay. My expectations have been set, but generally, I'm enjoying the volume so far, even though, I've, even though I'm hearing that it's quite divisive among the community. I've been enjoying the character development. Sure, there's not that much action as we're accustomed to from Ruby, but at the end of the day, a story is all about its characters, and I feel like the development so far has been working out really, really nicely. So yeah, I can't wait for more. Let's see what happens in True Colors. Of course. <laughs> Things aren't looking good, Oz. Ever the optimist. While I would not say our current predicament is ideal, I think we can both agree that the situation could be much worse. Humanity is a resilient force. Oz. Pro huntsmen like that don't just bite it all at once. Salem's powerful, and it seems like her reach is growing by the day. What does that say about humanity? That there are indeed a misguided few who have filled their hearts with malice. It doesn't take a great number of people to cause harm, but I still believe there are far more people in this world willing to prevent it. Um... There always are. Excuse me? Ah, Miss Rose. Join us. We were just about to gather everyone to discuss our next steps. Oh, uh, great. Yeah, great. Something on your mind, kiddo? This is a bit awkward. Uh, uh, if... If it's okay to ask. Of course. Well, uh, We've been talking about the Relicate Haven. And the Spring Maiden, but... What about the Fall Maiden? Cinder. Does that mean Salem has the beacon relic? Very astute, Miss Rose. I was wondering who would be the first to ask. No, thankfully she does not. It's true that the relic at Haven is very much at risk, and for now, that should remain our primary focus. Let's just say I made finding the relic at Beacon a bit more challenging than at the other schools. Oh. Ooh. Huh. That's good to hear. It is. But let's not forget the challenges that still lie before us. I don't... Why don't now, they... Now, is there yeah. anything else we can help you with? Oh, uh, well, I did have one more question. No, my cane is not a relic. Uh, <laughs> no more questions. <laughs> it was my question as yes. well. Yes, while this cane is indeed very precious to me, it is also just that, precious to me. While I admit it still has a few more tricks up its sleeve, I can firmly say that being a relic isn't one of them. Now why don't you run and get the other students? Why doesn't he make all the relics challenging to find? <laughs> yeah. That's my question. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, we'll be there. Who was it? <sighs> it was Leo. Says he had a breakthrough with the council. Thinks he might be able to get together a small raiding party for the bandits. He wants us to meet up at the school tomorrow night to walk us through it. <gasps> really? Oh, that's great! I'll go get the others. Crow's not nearly as excited about this, though. Hmm. That sounds drastically different from your original conversation, does it not? Ooh, perceptive. It does. That's why I wasn't as excited. Things aren't looking good, Oz. I know. They ain't no dum-dums, are they? Wow, she's already there. I still have questions for you. You're not alone in that. 
You know, I never expected you would be the one to have the guts to betray Oz. Which makes me wonder, what does she have on you? I'm helping her for the same reason you are. I'm afraid. We... we can't stop her. No one can. That's why I tried to leave when I did. I'm not afraid. I'm smart. <laughs> you yeah. can call it whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. We're here helping her. <laughs> Cowards. I've Both crossed a line. I've done things that Ozpin will never forgive, and he shouldn't. I don't know where I go from here. Man up. You did what you had to do to survive. There is no shame in that. Who are you trying to convince? Very good question. Very, very good question. She didn't like that at all. <sighs> He's not happy with his decision, yet he made it. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Quiet now. Oh, man. Not best mom, please. Did you come in here to hide? I told you. I didn't want this. But you're still here. I don't have a choice. Of course you do. Just stay out of my way. Really? Yeah. Okay. I so love her cloning ability. Why do you feel like we have to hurt people to get our way? <laughs> because it works. That doesn't make it right. That is so true. Stop lecturing me! Ooh, touch light dimmer. I like it. can blend in with the environment because of the color changing. Why couldn't you just leave? Because I run away too much. <gasps> Sorry, Dad. No. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. <laughs> Gonna burn down the house. There you are. Quit taking pot shots and fight me like you mean it! Mm. You used to see things the way I did, the way Adam did. If no one's going to do anything to stop the humans that attack us, then the only choice we have left is to attack back! Uh-oh. Frozen. No more weapons, sweetheart. You're wrong. There's always another choice. Ilya. Please. You're a good person, but you're making all the wrong decisions. Shut up! Is this really what your parents would have wanted? I don't know what else to do! I don't know what else to do. Oh. Unleash. 
unleash the beast. Oh shit. Surely that must hurt a lot. Awesome. What have you done? You've ruined everything. Mm -hmm. Everything! <laughs> Has she finally seen the light? Seems like it. Okay, that was a tiny back. bit. Everyone stay back. Anti We've got people inside doing their best. Look. Get in there! Search for any stragglers! We came as soon as we got the call. And Finnick? Was it worth it? Pretty good question. Humans didn't do this. We did this. Faunus. We did this to ourselves.
We are just as capable of hate and violence as the humans, but I don't think any of us would jump at the chance to point that out. So why are we letting Adam do it for us? By doing nothing and staying silent, we let others speak and act in our place. And if we're not proud of the choices they make, then we have no one to blame but ourselves. This is the message Adam Taurus will bring to the world if no one stops him. But we can stop him. You have to understand that all of you are looking for simple answers to a very complicated problem. And I can't give that to you. I don't know how to make hate go away. I don't. But I know that this kind of violence is not the solution. I understand that to ask you to leave your homes and protect Haven Academy is asking you to put your lives at risk. But that's what's at stake. So I'm going. And I'll stand by myself if I have to. I'll stand with you! If... If you'd have me. Isn't that the white finger? I thought she told you about Of course she'll have you. You're not going anywhere. Let her come. Huh? You're just going to forgive her? After everything she did? I am. <sighs> it's not as simple. But it all starts with a gesture. What does she think she's doing? She's learned a lesson that evaded me until I was much older. That there is strength in forgiveness. True. I'll go. I'll go too. I'll stand I'll with you. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. Me too. Me too. Me too. Oh, all right. Looks like we've got work to do. Thank you. Damn right. You stabbed me. <laughs> I, ow! <laughs> there. Let's just call it even. We have about two weeks before Adam's attack on Haven. We're going to need shields, training, whatever we can do to protect as many people as possible. We'll need transportation, too. For everyone. I think I know a ship captain who owes us a favor. Ah. Uh. Nice. Nice. Yeah, okay, I know I said that it was a little bit anticlimactic. I think it was mostly the way that that whole scene, uh, that whole situation was shot. I mean, it, it felt a little too easy for Ilya to overcome her, like dispute with uh, with Blake so to speak but it just felt a little it could have been shot uh, as a scene a little bit better like the, the the beats of it could have gone a little bit better but that's uh, that's fine I mean overall it was really 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 cool episode really nice way to end it all over there with Blake learning a very very important lesson which kind of brings her up in the uh breaks her worthy of being uh the daughter of the leader right that's really really good um yes raven is definitely looking like that coward that that secretly cowardly person who's just trying to survive just as much as lionheart is which is uh yeah always an interesting twist on a very intimidating character otherwise yeah and uh yeah that's uh, that's gonna do it hope you guys enjoyed uh, the episode and if you did please leave the video a like and subscribe to my channel because it helps a lot i'd like to thank my patrons for supporting the channel and if you would like to support the channel you can hit up the link in the description below and you could also join our discord community and hang out with people who have the same tastes as you with ruby and video games and other stuff like that by hitting up the discord invite link in the description below as well and as usual i'm going to catch you next time.